Okay, welcome to another Ginger Math Petition video where I'm going to go through my IGCSE Paper 2 0580 predictions and this is for the 8th of February and the 2nd of May 2023. Again, do check out until the end of the video because I'm going to go through my detailed breakdown of all the topics but I'm really going to highlight first of all the often, almost certain and certain topics. Now here, I just like to have a little section here on trending. So calculator skills are certainly on the rise. These come towards the start of the paper. I'll talk about this in more depth. One thing to notice is upper and lower bounds has gone down here at 38%. But again, it can come up more on paper four as well. Right, so our often topic, and I'm doing it slightly differently this year. So I'm putting the percentage in which it occurs, so variation proportion at a pretty big here, 77%. Again, like most years, this is generally done badly by students. This is why they keep putting this question in to make sure that you can do this particular topic. And all the questions you're gonna see in this particular PowerPoint come from the very recent November 2022 papers. So you can see here, for example, they try and change the wording, so proportional to the square of x minus 7, really sort of testing that knowledge there as well. On to trig equations, again, at a solid 69% here. And this is one of the very recent questions here that came up. As you can see, they try and do a little bit of a twist here. So this is not a two sine x equals five kind of question. They try and do a little bit more with the algebra. So that's how they're trying to make these questions slightly harder. On to 2D Pythagoras and trigonometry. Now this has always been, generally speaking, a typical paper four question, but I've noticed over the last few papers, over the last six papers or so, they try to put more of these into paper two. And this is an example here towards the end of the paper two, where they're actually trying to put the sine, cosine rule and bearings in and trying to shorten the questions down slightly. So make sure you are prepared for this, whichever paper it is, paper two or paper four. And calculator skills, which I mentioned already. I mean, this is really just the basics that you need to know here. Know how to do the root or even like the fifth root, for example. I saw that on a recent paper, how to square something, how to use cos and sine. And these are easy marks to pick up. As you can see here, this is question three. Again, it's just a case of being able to put it in your calculator and gaining that easy mark. On to similarity. Now, this is a new entry into the prediction, so I've separated this out from some of the volume and surface area questions, and it's now 69% in its own right. And I reflected on this, and probably the reason they're putting this more and more in is it's another way of testing that constructing triangles knowledge of SAS, SSA, SSS, for example. So this is a typical question here, question 18. Again, as soon as you see this phrase, this trigger word, if you want to know more about trigger words, then check out the video above. And you can see as soon as they put this phrase, mathematically similar, that should get you into the right mindset of these kinds of questions. On to vectors, which has dropped down slightly, but again, also always an important topic, and of course can appear equally on paper two and paper four. Sometimes it's just basic vector calculations and working out magnitudes. Sometimes you can also get this kind of question with vector algebra. So even though it's not now in the almost certain category, it's a topic certainly to be aware of. Right, and solving equations, again, that's always been popular. Again, that's slipped down slightly as well, but this can vary quite a bit. You have linear equations, simultaneous, or even combining quadratics with simultaneous equations. Quadratics itself generally comes up on paper four, but being able to solve any equation is a really, really helpful skill on both papers. This is a question here, again, a typical simultaneous equation uh, question towards the start of the paper that you should be able to do. And on to the almost certain category, and this is not going to be a surprise if you've watched my previous videos, which is on sequences. And they can have often in the form of a table, and exactly November 2022 had a question exactly in a table like this. And this is becoming more and more often, we're at 92% that there will be a sequences question on paper two. This is something definitely to revise. And if you want more practice on this, it can be a tricky topic, then check out the video above. Now on to coordinate geometry. Again, this is back in business, I call it here, on the November 2022 papers. And particularly towards the hard end of this particular topic, they are trying to combine other topics in. So notice they've got this idea of a kite, so looking, at, looking at the diagonals, and then getting you to use your kite knowledge, your area knowledge, in a slightly different context with coordinate geometry. 
Factorizing, again, <coughs> excuse me, always has been an important topic. It slips slightly, so it's in the almost certain category now, and it can come in a variety of different forms. You can see here, for example, what you'd be expected to do to simplify this fraction is taking out common factors. So in this case, you do 3x, x minus 4 at the bottom. Again, using that knowledge there to go, oh, there's probably going to be an x minus 4 in the top. And then you can kind of work backwards to work out, OK, what does the other term need to be here? And then with a little bit of consideration, you can get them that plus 3. It's a nice little trick there if you are doing these kind of algebraic fraction questions. Use the simple factorization to help you realize, OK, there'll be a similar factor in the top as well. And area volume of 2D, 3D shapes, always popular. It always has been on paper two and paper four. This is a nice question I saw, again, towards the end of the paper, where we get a frustum. I haven't mentioned it's a frustum, but essentially what it is here. And notice, whenever you get a 2D, 3D shape style question, they will often give you the formula. They'll give you a prompt for that formula. Now, if you want to know all the formulae and things you need to know for this course, then do check out the video above, because I go through my IGCSE 0580 cheat sheet, which goes through every single formula that you need to know to succeed in the exams. On to statistics, again, not a surprise. Uh, one thing just to be aware of, they've put some more scatter graph questions in, uh, but stem and leaf is always popular. Box plots, as you can see in this particular question, is always popular as well. And again, it can appear on paper four too, so be aware of this. But statistics is always a common thread and it hasn't really changed for these prediction videos either. And percentage calculations, again, you're expecting this at some point. Again, this also really hasn't really changed. We're at 85% here. Again, simple co interest, compound interest, reverse percentage change. Also working with exponential functions as well, really at the tough end. So make sure you've revised this really, really carefully. And probability, again, one thing I've noticed over the course of the last six papers or so is they are putting more of these questions into paper two and also making it harder as well. So one paper two I was looking through from November 2022, notice they put a very quite difficult uh, probability question at uh, question 25. And parts A and B are not too bad, but it's part C that really will test your knowledge of probability. So make sure you revise that. And now on to the certain topic. So my certain topic is anything above 100%. The first thing here is going to be speed, distance, time. Now, if it's towards the start of a paper, it will just be an easy calculation. I have the time, I have the distance, work out the speed or the other way around. Uh, but at the more harder end, there'll be either a speed time graph or there'll be a distance time graph. And you need to know the difference between them and then how that affects what you're going to work out. So you've got a speed time graph, you can work out acceleration. You've got a distance time graph, you can work out speed. So make sure you know exactly how to interpret those graphs. and will be a really useful skill to you for the science exams as well. Indices, again, not many marks, generally speaking, but always comes up. Yeah, it's one of those kinds of topics. Again, I've taken a slightly harder star question here. So you do need to be able to use your calculator. So you do need to be able to work out the fifth root or something. That ties in with what I said before about calculator skills. So make sure you can work out difficult indices on your calculator, as well as know your general indices formulae as well. <clears throat> and fractions on calculator, again, this comes up almost every year, and this can also include recurring decimals to fractions, which is a sort of subtopic here. But again, you've always got this prompt here where it has it in bold without using a calculator, work out a fraction skill. And that is going to come up in paper two in some shape or form. So make sure you've revised that and how to do this without a calculator. Again, that's going to give you two very, very easy marks. Number skills. So I've combined some of the HCF, LCM, ratios, yeah, identifying square and cube numbers, almost always at the start of a paper. Again, these are easy marks, as you can see here. This is from a paper two. So writing out common multiple, dividing something by a ratio. Just make sure that you can do these fundamental number skills. You don't want to slip up and lose you know, four or five marks at the start of the paper, not just by not knowing how to work out an HCF or an LCM or dividing things by ratios. 
and angle calculations. Now this does include exterior and interior angles as well, as well as using angles in parallel lines, just like the question that you see in front of you. At the easy end of this topic would be something like you see in front of you, so question five, so working at angles using alternate corresponding and interior. At the harder end, they're gonna bring in interior, exterior angles, and they're gonna start putting some algebra in there as well. So if you look through November 2022 papers, you're gonna see that's the style of question they like to do. And um, if you've been waiting for this until at the end of the video, this is my breakdown of all the topics on the 0580 paper two, and again, which category I put it in. So notice, for example, I haven't mentioned some of these topics like circle theorems. If you're wondering where circle theorems was, it was in the prediction video last time. Well, it does come up 54% of the time, so keep that in mind. Quadratics appear 46% of the time. Uh, functions, which is generally a paper four question, still appears on paper two 54% of the time. So if you're happy with the topics I've mentioned already in this video, then make sure you then start revising the most important sometimes topics. So I've labeled three for you that you've probably prioritized your revision over. And if you want to get up to speed with IGCSE Maths and really, really get that revision going, then check out my IGCSE Maths system right in front of you because I go through the steps that you need to do to do really effective revision and get those top grades.